everybody. Welcome to Great Day Live. On this Friday, a local barbecue king is getting his time in the national spotlight as a contestant on Food Network's Barbecue Brawl. Four Pegs' of very own chef Chris Williams made his first appearance on this show, uh, on Food Network's show, a little bit earlier this week, and we are lucky to have him right here in the Charlie Wilson KitchenAid Kitchen. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Superstar. <laughs> I love it. That. Right? Like, what is, I mean, it just has to be the coolest thing to be on a Food Network show and um, I mean talk a little bit about like what is barbecue brawl like how it works yeah it's really amazing so uh, barbecue brawl is a competition show with Bobby Flay and Burrell and Sonny Anderson as the mentors and mm -hmm. we got some amazing judges with Rodney Scott uh, Brooke Williamson and Carson Cressley one of the funny, funniest people I've ever met but uh, so it's a competition show we have some team competitions some individual competitions and it whittles down until there's just one left and that is the master of Q Whew. and so you taped this back in January January you can't tell us much more than that right <laughs> A lot. It was a lot of fun, I can tell you right? that. Like we have to watch week after week to see how far you, you and your team um, advance. But, I mean, is it one of those moments when you're there, you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm a part of this. Yeah, there was a moment where I just had to take a second and take it all in and be like, wow, this is going to be seen by millions and millions of people. So, yeah, it was, it was intimidating. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to keep watching as you, as you go on, but you have a sample of one of the um, the challenge dishes uh, that you put together that yeah, you're going to show so, us. Yeah, so this was uh, our first challenge. Okay. We had to do a, it was a California style challenge, uh, so I wanted to do something fresh. What so you pouring in there? This is tequila. Okay. <laughs> I don't drink it anymore, but I sure cook with All it. Right. Uh, <laughs> so it's a tequila orange chicken. So you got orange and tequila. Uh, some it, it, one of the things people get intimidated about is making marinating chicken, and yeah. I really want to kind of show this. And, and one. I'm curious. I'll go back to the tequila. Tequila, what does the tequila do for the chicken to kind of like what what taste are you looking to hopefully bring out of well, it? Well, the tequila and the orange really are a great combination and it also tenderizes the chicken. Okay, so yeah. it's going to make it nice and moist. So when you do cook it, it's going to stay moist and you're not going to have that dry chicken right, that nobody right. likes. Uh, so you would just, you know, kind of mix this together on the show. I only had 30 or I think this was an hour and a half challenge, but so I just kept kind of mixing it. But at <laughs> home, you want to put it in a bag and put it in the refrigerator for up to three hours. Don't put okay. it in there longer than that because it's going to get real weird. Chicken will break down too. Yeah. much. Uh, so then we did that and uh, smoked it mm. and made some fresh guacamole, some pickled veg, and that was our dish. This looks beautiful. This is the finished product here, um, and this just elevates it. I think anytime you add citrus, it just makes it, it pop, gives right? It a little something, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what did you made this guacamole? What did you do? Anything special that you did to it that you like to do during the summertime? Uh, you know, it's just always use the best fresh uh, avocados, some, some red onions, some tomato, a little bit of cumin, some lime juice. I always mm. like to put some of our rub me tender in there. Uh, it's our signature dry rub, and that yeah. just gives it all kinds of different flavors. Anything? What's going on over at Four Pegs this summer? Uh, lots of stuff. Yeah, you know, we got a uh, we got a uh, uh, Russ Smith's coming in. We're doing a bottle signing. We're doing some watch parties for the show. You know, we're always cooking up great barbecue. <laughs> uh, I got a little spice in my throat. <laughs> it happens That's to me. You should see me sneezing spice. while I'm making the rub. <laughs> <laughs> and so you have that going on this summer, right? All summer long, yeah. Nice, nice. Um, and so we know you love barbecue. Was it weird to barbecue on the show on somebody else's like stuff? Yeah, because uh, <laughs> right? I'm used to you my can't, things. You can't bring your smoker. <laughs> right. So what is it like to use like, I mean, you couldn't even touch the temperatures. Like you have to keep things like right where they are. Yeah, so they set it up before you before you start shooting. Yeah. Uh, and so it'll hold for as long as it'll hold and you get over there and you just have to kind of work with what you have. That's part mm -hmm. of the challenge, you know, is it's not yours. You got to figure it out on the fly and you got to cook on it. Yeah. You know, and, and I just think kind of what you've been doing. I mean, you've been on our radar and, and you've already already been on a couple of these shows. You know, each time you're on a show like that, what do you learn from that that you decide to bring back to Louisville that you're like, wait a minute, let me insert that into the menu or maybe, you know, my customers may like this or that. Well, you know, specifically with going out to California, I learned some more fresh flavors like the guacamoles. I don't use a lot of that, yeah. uh, but there's you can put make cucumber guacamoles, tomatillo guacamoles and a lot of the other chefs were doing stuff like that because they were from out there. So, you know, you're just. Thinking, I just make guacamole. Right, yeah. I need to basic step guacamole. up my guacamole game. Yeah, so you can pick up things from, all, especially doing shows like that, lots of different chefs from around the country. You can pick up different tips and tricks from them and bring it home. And you and Bobby have Kentucky in common with uh, horse racing. He I loves know some derby, yeah. He really loves <laughs> he the horse racing. He was the Grand race. Marshal of the Parade once. That's yeah. right. <laughs> That's right, but like you said, you didn't have too much time to chit-chat during downtime or anything like that. Well, we are so proud of you. And Thank just you. keep um, keep elevating the game and doing what you're doing, and we love like what you bring back, too. So, Dish, we may try at home Absolutely. <laughs> or just go is it on the menu uh, it's not on the menu but you know Maybe. call me up I'll give you some tips <laughs> there we go, Chris, thank you so much <laughs> thank you. you know if you want to catch up uh, of course with all the episodes on Food Network uh, you can do so and you can also uh, stop by and say hello to Chris anytime he's over at four pegs 